Yes, he rebuked kings for their sakes, saying, Do not touch my anointed ones, and do my prophets no harm. Moreover, he called for a famine in the land. He destroyed all the provision of bread. He sent a man before them, Joseph, who was sold as a slave. They hurt his feet with fetters. He was laid in irons. Until the time that his word came to pass, the word of the Lord tested him. The king sent and released him. The ruler of the people let him go free. He made him lord of his house and ruler of all his possessions to bind his princes at his pleasure and teach his elders wisdom. Israel also came into Egypt and Jacob dwelt in the land of Ham. He increased his people greatly and made them stronger than their enemies. He turned their heart to hate his people, to deal craftily with his servants. He sent Moses his servant and Aaron whom he had chosen. They performed his signs among them and wonders in the land of Ham. He sent darkness and made it dark, and they did not rebel against his word. He turned their waters into blood and killed their fish. Their land abounded with frogs, even in the chambers of their kings. He spoke, and there came swarms of flies and lice in all their territory. He gave them hail for rain and flaming fire in their land. He struck their vines also and their fig trees and splintered the trees of their territory. He spoke, and locusts came young locusts without number, and ate up all the vegetation in their land, and devoured the fruit of their ground. He also destroyed all the firstborn in their land, the first of all their strength. He also brought them out with silver and gold, and there was none feeble among his tribes. Egypt was glad when they departed, for the fear of them had fallen upon them. He spread a cloud for a covering, and fire to give light in the night. The people asked, and he brought quail, and satisfied them with the bread of heaven. He opened the rock and water gushed out. It ran in the dry places like a river, for he remembered his holy promise and Abraham his servant. He brought out his people with joy, his chosen ones with gladness. He gave them the lands of the Gentiles, and they inherited the labor of the nations that they might observe his statutes and keep his laws. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Oh, give thanks to the Lord for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Who can utter the mighty acts of the Lord? Who can declare all his praise? Blessed are those who keep justice and he who does righteousness at all times. Remember me, O Lord, with the favor you have toward your people. O oh, visit me with your salvation, that I may see the benefit of your chosen ones, that I may rejoice in the gladness of your nation, that I may glory with your inheritance. We have sinned with our fathers. We have committed iniquity. We have done wickedly. Our fathers in Egypt did not understand your wonders. They did not remember the multitude of your mercies, but rebelled by the sea, the Red Sea. Nevertheless, he saved them for his name's sake, that he might make his mighty power known. He rebuked the Red Sea also, and it dried up. So he led them through the depths as through the wilderness. He saved them from the hand of him who hated them and redeemed them from the hand of the enemy. The waters covered their enemies, there was not one of them left. Then they believed his word. They sang his praise. They soon forgot his works. They did not wait for his counsel, but lusted exceedingly in the wilderness and tested God in the desert. And he gave them their request, but sent leanness into their soul. When they envied Moses in the camp and Aaron, the saint of the Lord, the earth opened up and swallowed Dathan and covered the faction of Abiram. A fire was kindled in their company. The flame burned up the wicked. They made a calf in Horeb and worshipped the molded image. Thus they changed their glory into the image of an ox that eats grass. They forgot God their Savior, who had done great things in Egypt, wondrous works in the land of Ham, awesome things by the Red Sea. Therefore he said that he would destroy them. Had not Moses his chosen one stood before him in the breach to turn away his wrath, lest he destroy them. Then they despised the pleasant land. They did not believe his word but complained in their tents and did not heed the voice of the Lord. Therefore he raised his hand in an oath against them to overthrow them in the wilderness, to overthrow their descendants among the nations and to scatter them in the lands. They joined themselves also to Baal of Peor and ate sacrifices made to the dead. Thus they provoked him to anger with their deeds and the plague broke out among them. Then Phinehas stood up and intervened and the plague was stopped. And that was accounted to him for righteousness to all.